peace that But unable to control it. Tony Echternach, six foot, 220 pounds south, one out of the lineup for Central Catholic. Brown, three steps back, looks, fires, another bomb up for grabs. Look out. Intercepted, yes. Taken by Brian Young. Does some fancy Dan running, reverse himself a couple times, still on his feet, and finally knocked down on the Viking 47 yard line. He ran a mile that time to pick up a few yards, and Billy Birch had to come up to make the stop. Good reaction by Young. Now we're going to get a good look at the young man, a junior. Will probably be one of the top wrestlers on the wrestling team this winter. Two touchdowns last week in that big win over Easton. Let's watch, let's watch Young play. You can't get beat deep. Vikings in a little bit of a soft situation defensively there, knowing that Duroff's going to try and go long. Young's going to play it real well. The Duroff defender's right there, slightly overthrown. Well played by Young, and uh, we'll get to watch the run back again. He's going to zigzag a little bit, pick up a couple of blockers. Picks up a good one there. Then he cuts back across the grain, and that will usually pick you up a couple of more yards. And continues to run until number 38, Bill Birch, will find him and make the stop. Don Johnson was the intended receiver in that particular. On defense. No, let's go over it. Of course, the kids are nervous, a lot of energy flowing, but you got Jennings on the isolation, which you just saw on the screen. You got Jennings on some gut run, you know, after splitting wide. You got wide coverage, one and one man to man on the corners, going for the bomb. And I'll tell you, Gary, you got Lysak on a delay pattern, and that's 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 a real so threat to me. many weapons to come at you. Boy, last weekend, Allen Central, a great football game. Wilson Nazareth, a great football game. No huddle. Back to throw. Brady, 35 seconds on the clock. Is it intercepted? It's intercepted by Brian Young. Gary, uh, amazing how things come to the top. That's one of the few times tonight that Central got line pressure on the quarterback. We'll have it again. And I'm telling you that a defensive pressure by a lineman, and we'll catch the number for you. He's the guy that made the interception. Watch this. One of the few times tonight we see the pressure come on. Look at that line oh. pressure. It alters the throw, and it's read exactly right by Young. That was just a great defensive effort on the line of scrimmage. And Brian Young has shown us two spectacular football games in a row. The Allen game, this game. They're going to simply put their knee down. And they're going to watch the clock run down, the final 10 seconds. And Dick Tracy, they just don't get any better than this one. Yeah, you know, uh, usually, you know, you got greats about the winners and not so great comments about the loser. But, oh, boy, tonight, Gary, did you see an effort? That's a banged-up Hawk squad that played this game even.
Then you take a kid like Spinoza away from the game just a little bit besides. And Central Catholic, what can you say? Brian Young has come to the front so many times for the Vikings this year, and I was glad to see that he added a little bit of defensive zing to his game and showed he's a two-way performer. I, I, I could go on all night, guy. I better cut it off. And the accolades go on both sides of the football field tonight. This was a great football game. Becca High, as we said, coming in. Have never beaten the state liners looking for their first win. And as a matter of fact, they have a rough time even scoring points. I think they only have like one touchdown the last five or six years against Phillipsburg. So this has been a very tough game for Central Catholic. The Vikes come in tied with Easton at 4-0 atop the East Penn Conference followed by Bethlehem Catholic and Parkland at 4-1, and one. Phillipsburg at 2-1, and one. Allen now at 3-2, and two. Deeroff and Freedom at 2-3, and three. Emmaus and Whitehall at 1-3, and three. Liberty and Northampton yet to win in the league, 0-5. Oh Mike, the personnel is of course different than last season, but both teams are really growing on what they did. The offense did its part, and now the offense moving the ball and looking sharp here in its first possession. Bill Cramsey, the fullback, 5'10", 190-pound senior, and the tight end tonight for Central, Bob Fassinger, 6'4", 220, junior. First and 10, operating from the P-Berg, 37. Cramsey goes inside, he's got a man who's moving, and it could be going all the way for Brian Young as he makes his way to the corner. Touchdown, Central Catholic. Number 23, Brian Young. An outside fake, an inside run, and Brian Young was a touch. Now let's watch, take a look at the right side of the Viking line. You see the left guard pulls number 51. That's Neil Cummings. Cummings, look at the way he's filling in there in the middle, but there's nobody there. There's a nice opening there where Young has never touched on his play. And I know those, the... the, the the special teams are the, the backs and quarterbacks and halfbacks get a lot of the credit, but there's a situation there where Young was not touched on that touchdown scamper. Well executed by that offensive line. That line includes Cummings, which I... Five seconds left to play here in the first half. Third and eight for the Vikes. Tim Cramsey. He hands off this time to Brian Young. Young is flying down the field. He's sacked up and put down at the 50 with 15 seconds left to play. Central Catholic calls timeout. As they move the chains, no timeout call. Correction on that. And now they do call timeout. Todd Stecker, the man making the hit. Original fake to the fullback and then give it to Young. Good block on the end. And Young, watch him finish this playoff. Boy, I like that kind of running. That's good hard-nosed football. He drives him for an extra three yards. There's still 15 seconds to go. Young surrounded, just picked out a man and planted it between the numbers and kept driving those legs to the action on the field. Alvarez making it off the field under his own power. First and ten for Central. Look out. Here comes Williams. A correction. Young. And Young bringing up just short of the ten-yard line. Bruce Levitt hauling him down. It looks like another Central first down. And young, young who has the game's first touchdown for Central Catholic. Nice exit on the play. Madison with the stop. Mike Stefanik coming out. For correction. Jeff Puxen again to center. Number 55 for Central Catholic. Round sweep. It's going to be in for a touchdown. That's Brian Young. A five-yard run for Young for six points for Central. And that sets the marks. Oh, well, changing both scores now, so they've got even, they've got me successful and converted, and on the second time on that little shovel pass underneath, Phillipsburg was ready for it and stopped them. So we will now probably see Central Catholic maybe line up in a conventional set. Let's watch the touchdown from the end zone. They'll come right at you, right into your living room. You see the guard pulling from the left side, getting a nice block. That is a nice cut by Brian Young, forcing the defense to overrun it. Leading the way in there was number 63, Jason Dankel. Seven plays, 52 yards on the drive. What a great football game we got going here tonight.
You know, defensively, you're all keyed up. You know, you're coming in with, you know, all your motors going there. Now, all of a sudden, you got to pull back. You got to learn to play that whistle. 401 to play in the game. And Jay Birdie Crumb Stadium is rocking from their own 44 yard line. Here come the Vikings. Inside motion. Look at this. Brian Young. He's still on his feet. One man to beat. He's stuck from behind at the Phillipsburg 25 yard line. Brian Young, first play from scrimmage for Central Catholic. Tom Pichella pulling him down from behind. The inside reverse has not been that successful tonight. Maybe a little tired legs defensively. It's a great effort on Young's part. There has not been much production there. Oh, good block. Puxin gets a nice block inside. And Look at Young that. is able to break out of a tackle. Look at that How great balance. How did he do that? Boy, and I'm going to tell you what. That is a tackle number 78, Ooh. Tom Coachella, who was able Six to... Six yards and a first down. Love that call. That was just a great call. The initial first down of the ball game for Central. They send out wide to the left side. Their big tight end, Bob Batzinger, 6'4", 224-pound junior. We'll see a little more of him during basketball season. This time, the handoff goes to Brian Young. Young puts his head down, gets up over the 35, out to about the 38-yard line. Pick up about five yards on the play, and he'll bring up a second, and let's give him six. And I'm not sure the ball might have slipped by Tim because he underthrew him by about 15 yards. Yeah, that was badly, badly underthrown. Well, they're going to get an extra play out of the first Yeah, quarter. they will. Yeah. Clock stopped. It is a third and four, so a big play here for Central. Allen almost jumps off sides, but they don't. Inside handoff goes to Brian Young. He's got the first down and more as he is in Allen territory all the way down to the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 13 yards and a first down. Both teams now taking advantage of the quick hitters, Gary. Again, hit the daylight at the line of scrimmage and then run in the direction which you... Five ...for 10 in the passing department for Cramsey for 82 yards. Of course, he has a touchdown pass, Cramsey to Galgan for 34 yards at the 9.45 mark of the second period. Final 30 seconds, first, or make it second and 10 from the 27-yard line. Back to throw, Cramsey rolling. He's looking for the end zone for Brian Young. Young is open, he's got a touchdown. He stepped in front of Randy Logler for a 27-yard touchdown. You know, Gary, it looked like the offense was on defense and the defense was on offense that time. Logler had that one measured. Simply a matter of when he was going to pick it off. Because one, it was thrown to the inside, and two, it came up short. Well, it was so timed by the receiver. How Young sets in front of this, he looks like a defender. That's a great play by that Brian. Was. Another look at the touchdown. You know, Gary, so often we are so quick to say the receivers take the stats away from the quarterback. Well, Mr. Young just gave one stat here on this play. Down in the left-hand corner right about now, Lockwood's ready to chalk that one up for an interception. I still think they are underestimating the strength of Mr. Kalindi's arm. It's almost as if people aren't out there. I, yeah. As if there's not enough people. Boy, it looks like the whole thing. Uh, Moses gave way. The Red Sea there or something. Once he, he started turning it on, there wasn't a green shirt within uh, 10, 15 yards of him. He wasn't touched there until he was tackled. From the 38-yard line, first and 10, Logler will put it up. Reimer in motion. Oh, that, that screen. Nope. No, he won't get Well, he got it off. This ball's intercepted. Somebody better catch. Brian Young. Logler has a shot at him, and he will tackle him. There's a penalty flag, but that won't mean very much. Ooh. The penalty will be against Allen, I believe. And we'll see whether or not that will give Central another play. I don't think it will. Face mask, guys. Face mask is the call. And they may get another play out of this, because I'm not sure it can end <laughs> on a penalty against Allen. Against the defense. Well, <laughs> oh, this, this is going to be good. The second penalty of the night against... Allen, we're going to get another look at this play. Boy, it is difficult to compound one mistake with a second mistake. Ooh, he made a motion too, guys. 
You know what? At first, I think people thought the quarter the quarter was over, and uh, they stopped. And let's see if you can see the face mask. There it is. He's done. Well, seven for 14 for 123 yards and two touchdown passes. Warren sticks reaction, I would think. Third and six, 634. The clock stopped on the incomplete pass. Delgado, he gets the fake again. This time it's Cramsey over the middle. He's got a man wide open and Young. Brian Young, touchdown, 24 yards. Well, we said all night, when's he going to throw under? That time he threw under, Gary. Took his wide man, put him a lot deeper, and simply threw under the coverage, and he was wide open. Comes at 626, another look. Here's your under coverage. A little bit coming out of the backfield. Right under the deep man, wide open over the middle. And Cramsey. He is 8 for 16 for 147 yards. He has three touchdowns on the night. Boy, do they smell pass guys. Four man front. Delgado's running away from the play. Delgado is not going to be involved. Uh -huh. as the handoff instead goes to Young. Again, great call. Tackle made by Randy Logler, but not before. Central gets a first down. The ball all the way up to the 48-yard line, a gain of eight yards for a block. Rapidly here. It was supposed to go down to about 27 degrees tonight. And uh, every time that door behind us opens a little bit, the temperature in here goes down about 27 degrees. Although the cold has not seemed to bother the players. Back to throw. Again, the fly pattern. This time, De Jesus. Good defensive play by Brian Young. He was right there. You know, that, that is certainly a do-or-die play, guys. You're putting it all on the line with one receiver versus one defender. That time, the defense won the situation. What Allen didn't do, Dick, was try to hide this at no. all. It was a straight fly pattern. Dust off that shuffle pass and get ready for next Friday because we might see it eight times. We nope. haven't seen it yet. No gain on that play. It might not be a bad time to throw it right here, Dick, as it's second and ten. Delgado in motion. Back to throw. No. Inside handoff. Again, the misdirection. Oh, my. What a hit on Brian Young by Reimer. Jimmy Reiner said, uh, I want to play some offense. Maybe I can impress the coach so I get a bang on this guy. Now, our director, being the violent man he is, will show you this replay. Boy, what misdirection can do for you. Watch this hit. Ball. That may have been the call. But, but the way ball. See, that's the one that bothers me. From the 35-yard line, Central hands the ball off to Brian Young. Boy, he's done a super job tonight. Tackle made by Andy Jenkins, but not before. Brian Young picks up five yards, make it six. He gets the ball up to the 41-yard line. I'll tell you, Gary, one thing I've noticed that I bet not all scouting reports about Central include such a meaningful game. Big play, third and one. Look for Billy Cramsey. No, they give it instead to Young. Why not? He's been doing it all night long. Young gets the first down up to the 48-yard line. A gain of four yards. First down for Central, number 15. Well, a good call and a good play and a good first down for the Viking. Talking about now at the 48-yard line of Allen. Central has the football. They need to go nowhere. They yeah. just have to simply put the knee down and let the clock run out for four plays. Instead, they hand it off to Young. Young has some running room. And Young's going to get a touchdown saving tackle by Hassan De Jesus as he gets the ball all the way down to the 22-yard line, a pickup of 17 yards. Gary, after that end of first half scenario, how could anyone be leaving the stadium? You know, you don't know what to expect even after the gun goes off. Down to the 21-yard line. Here it is again. And, Dick, here I thought they were just going to put the knee down. And instead and you almost go for six. Somebody down on the field, I imagine it was Allen, has called a timeout. 101 on the clock. So Central's going to either get about 12 or they're going to get stopped at the line for the loss. I'll tell you, Dick, Cramsey made them pay for that tackle. He was really bowling over people. First and 10 for the first time tonight. Central is in Becca High territory. Here's a nice little trap play to Brian Young. As Young gets the ball down to the 30-yard line, he'll pick up eight yards on that carry, and it's going to bring up a second and two. 
Well, you know, Gary, talking about bowling over people, I, I must go back to that Nazareth fullback, only a sophomore. Uh, since I was in the doldrums with Notre Dame's results last week, I had time to think. That young man, boy, he is going to be, he's, he's going to be 215, Gary. Chad Cramsey. Oh, he is something. Mother Cramsey. Yeah, a couple of my uh, students at Wilson were a little upset. We showed some of those replays over again. It hurt the first time. It hurt a little more watching it. Here's a little out pattern to Brian Young. Young takes a pretty good hit from Jennings along with 62 Courtney Williams, but he does manage to get enough yardage for the first down as the ball now down to about the 23 yard line. That's a pickup of seven yards. That's a good call there, Dick. Nice and safe. Uh, yeah, Gary, I'll tell you, uh, I, I mean, you see a central tendency here. They are not going to let Becca cheat on the run and play run all night. Last series they came on a second down pass. Here they come on an unexpected pass and as you said a very safe one. Again they reset everybody and Becca has to shift to that reset. Hand off to Young. Young's got a hole. He gets through the hole. Young dives forward all the way down to about the 12 yard line. That's a good run by Brian Young the senior. That'll be a pickup of about 11 yards. We'll see in a signal. No, you no just tap your center, and, and the line right. doesn't know exactly when to move either. Well, here's the biggest play early on. Fourth and goal to go inside the one yard line. Is it going to be Bill Cramsey, the fullback? It's Young. Young's got it. Oh, he got a great block, Dick, from Cummings. Cummings. Wow. Oh, boy, you talk about a pull blocker. Mr. Cummings, uh, he's going to make the highlight film, Gary, with the job he's doing. And that wing tee, boy, when you utilize that trail back, it's all pull blocking. We get a good look at Cummings leading it. Oh, boy, did he take since quite a story, Gary. Uh, only a junior. He, too, is undersung. He is just one heck of a ball player. And he's the kind of kid you can really use all over. Coming in at like 190 pounds as a junior. Tough, tough kid. He's the center on offense. Back to throw, Cramsey. He's going to fire over the middle. He's got a man wide open. This is Young. Young's got some running room. Young has Spinoza to beat. Young will go down at the 30-yard line as John Spinoza makes the tackle. That's a pickup of 47 yards and a first down. And that was the second touchdown score against Allen Gary. The exact same pattern. Maybe we'll catch it. Keep your eye on Young in the backfield. There's a little circle. Boy, what protection can do for you. Little delay route right over the middle with a circle out of the backfield. Wide open. This looks like you're looking for the hole instead of the, you know, the uh, just run for that strike. It's one of your buddies there, Timmy Crook, uh, Pookson, who is the uh, yeah. center. Central's going to go for two as they... Back to throw, Cramsey. He's going to lob the ball to a wide open. Brian Young. It's complete. They'll put two more points up on the board. And Central Catholic now leads with 101 to go in the first half by a 15 to 12 score. We know you'll stay with us. Again, they're big play numbers for Becca, Gary. We gotta get into it now, there's a the kickoff. We're gonna take another look at those stats in a second, but we don't wanna miss the kickoff here as Brian Young catches the football at about the eight yard line. Brian Young, one man to beat, he can't beat him. Good tackle by the kickoff man, Mike Kramer, or else Brian Young is gonna go 92 yards for a touchdown. It's going to be first and ten for Central Catholic. They have, but it's interesting, Dick. On non-passing situations, when Central has attempted to pass, they have really put the rush on, almost as if they're expecting it. Handoff goes to Young. He breaks through. He's got the first down, down to the 30-yard line. Young with a pickup of 12 yards and a first down tackle made by Chazar. And, and contrary to that, Gary, in obvious running situations such as that, when they go to their medium range offense and, and, and bring the wing back back, uh, they haven't been able to stop it. And this is a pass situation, second and ten, back and get into the action. I'm sure he wants to go to Florida, no doubt about that. Second and a, a short seven, Thad Jennings puts on some moves. Is there a fumble? It, it is a fumble. Recovered by Central Catholic. They fall on the football as Brian Young comes you know, up with the first turnover of the ball game. You know what, Gary? You hate to see something like that happen to Jennings. He gave such a superb of it. The last seven yards, watch this. Those last seven yards are all effort, and that's when he loses it. Becca sort of saying the ground caused the fumble. I hope we get another look at that because the fans were really upset. I think we're going to re-rack it up and we'll try to get it one more shot at that fumble as the ball is on the 39-yard line and it is the Becca High 39, first and 10 
for Central. Young's the ball carrier. Young gets the ball to the 35. Let's take one wing to throw. They're 5 for 11 for 92 yards, but they have lost enough. A lot of yardage on sacks. Here's a screen pass set up beautifully to Young. He's got running room down the sideline. Brian Young finally gets knocked out of bounds. Takes a tough, hard hit. Oh, my. That hit, I believe, by Roeder. Wow. Yeah, he paid for that yard. Okay, Gary, we have classified coaches' calls tonight. Well, I don't know which one's top, but, boy, I know this one's near the top. You know that Becca smells pass, so their best weapon against the central pass has been pressure on Cramsey. Well, here comes a whole student body just set up beautifully. You know what it was, Gary? It was a replay of tennis. In the third period, critical defensive sequence now for Becca High. Young cuts up inside, stays on his feet. Dick, have we seen him have two great games two weeks in a row? Gary, right. that, that Dick, I don't mean to interrupt you, but we're going to look at the situation from their own 17. Here come the Vikings, splitting right. Number nine, Dave Galgan. Cramsey rolling back, lets it fly, a screen pass. This one's caught by number 23, Brian Young, and he breaks free down the left side. Nobody there. One man to angle. Here comes Young with one man to beat, and he stopped at the 10-yard line. Call it the 15, Michael Mazaris on a corner run with the angle, manages to get up to Brian Young and save the touchdown. Well designed and well executed by the Viking offense. This is third and about 17. A little flare pass. He's going to pick up some great blocks. That's pucks in number 55, taking out two people. Oh, Young makes a couple people miss. I don't know who came with that block there. And Young, who scored twice last year against Easton, loves to play against the Red Rovers. What a run by Brian Young. And you saw the Red Rovers going over like bowling pins. This play, however, it's going nowhere on first and ten. Joey Jones, one of the big linemen up front, stopping that one. 68-yard pickup on the play, and you do and, and you do have to give some credit right here to a hustling Red Rover that is number 34 in pursuit, Mike Mazaris, who saves the Vuck, setting up the convoy. Kyle Yandel has been stopping him through off his blocker, and Gaddy was by him by the time he could reach his hand out. Double inside handoff. This one going to 34. Michael Mazariz. Mazariz receiving the ball off of Gaddy's hand. Brian Young, the cornerback, making the stop. Well, it's a good reaction and good discipline by Brian Young. Young, who is also a fine wrestler for the Vikings, stays at home here, and this is a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle because you could see there was a nice seam there that was created in the Viking defense. Second down and seven from the 22, and the secondary is having to make an awful lot of tackles here in the early going yeah, for Central Catholic. That's scary. The pitch out to Gaddy on the left side they go. He looks to turn the corner, but Central manages to get the job done and sending him to the sideline for little or no gain. Jason Dankel, the linebacker in pursuit. Well, Dankel's a good one from inside. This is a nice job by Cramsey. Watch him. He's going to take on the lead block and slide and slide and make sure Gaddy stays inside of him so that Dankel can come from the inside and make the play. Young also on the contain right there. That was a good bit of defense. 7.30 to play now in the first half. From their own 36. We're tied at 7. Stuttering, stutter step. Staggering perhaps in the backfield before getting his feet and moving the ball. Brian Young, the halfback. And Young is met by the cornerback, Larry Gibson. Now we're seeing Easton secondary making a lot of tackles. Well, again, now the, the line and the deception here you see Cummings is going to pull from his left tackle spot and lead in in a nice hole. Nice kick out by 41, Bill Cramsey, allowing Young some running room. I wonder if Young does the hurdles and track. He got a nice knee over one player there. Flag on the play, 8.28 to go here in the third quarter. A 7-7 ball game. Second and 10 from the 50. In motion goes Young. Ramsey rolling left. Firing. He's got a man. It's complete and still on his feet. 
Number 33, Josh Williams. I don't know how he managed to survive the sandwich. Correction, it was 23, Brian Young. Three time. rovers converging on. Let's take a look. Better time for Cramsey. He moves the pocket to his left. A good job on the end, you see, by Yandel in alignment in there. And a great throw into a lot of traffic. And look at Young. He refuses to go down in stretching out and picking up the first down. Number Me seven for the Vikes tonight. Merrill Fainel, the inside linebacker, staying with the, the receiver. Eight minutes to go here. First to ten. The Vikings on the move from the 36. Look at this. Breaking free is Brian. He's brought down just short of the goal line. Marking it at the one, Brian Young. What a ball game this has been as Central Catholic threatens once again. Again, it's the inside nice kick out and a nice convoy. You see the size of that hold. Another good downfield block and another good job by the Eastern Red Rover secondary of keeping a ball to carrier out of the end zone. Again, it's number 34 in pursuit with Becca, but they were not behind. They trail in this one. We will see now what the Red Rovers are made of. Billman pitching back to Gaddy. Gaddy rolling to the side, getting pushed out to the side, and he picks up a few more as they edge closer to the first down marker. Brian Young bringing him down about two yards short of a first down. Yeah, Jason Dankel also over there defensively. Cramsey's able to fight off the block here on the end. Watch, Cramsey turns it inside. Now Dankel and a lot of people come from the inside. This is just good defensive work. You see, Galgan had picked them all in one shot. Second and eight. From the eight. Goal to goal for the Red Rovers. I formation. It's Gaddy looking left. He can't get inside. And he's pushed back to the line of scrimmage. The clock still runs. Brian Young combining with Bill Cramsey to stop Gaddy on the left wing. Well, it, Central Catholic's doing an outstanding job of containing number 21. Watch the play of Cramsey again. He gets to the outside, does not. He almost strips that ball away. Young comes in to finish it off. Cummings is... Hawks, it's all yours on Service Electric Cable TV. From the Easton 49-yard line, second and three for Central Catholic. This game is tied at 14. Inside handoff, and look out. Here comes Central Catholic, a first down and more for number 22, Jose Delgado. Brian Young on that count. All right, it was Young. Larry Gibson making the stop from cornerback. Boy, what, look, look at the good work again by Cramsey. You see him hide the football. They fake it to Cramsey. Hiding back in there is number 23, Young, who picks up good yardage, 12 yards on the play yard pickup on the play he has now thrown for 172 yards on the night a terrific performance by the sophomore and another mainstay the ball carrier young young nearly making it up to the 50 call it at the 46 or 47 before yard game yeah, that's Coast Guard. That may be inside the one. Young's got the touchdown. That ball was on the one-yard line, I believe. Or was it the puck? We thought it was the six. It was the six-yard line. It's a six-yard run by Brian Young. As we get another look. Now they go back to the bread and butter offense. There's a set. The handoff. From the man who's gone in motion, he simply runs it inside the defensive end. So Central takes advantage of the Lee Heighton turnover, and they do it very quickly. Bigger is in. This time the kick is high enough, long enough, and is good as Bigger now puts it through the uprights. Now we know why they went for two. Lee Heighton, a power running team. And that's the game they want to show because it makes the other aspects of their arsenal so much better. The Vikings are out. They're looking at a second and 18. They're in the sloppy part of the field. The footing here is not real good. It's Cramsey. Back to throw. There's the shovel pass again. And again, they've got good running room. Brian Young is going to be knocked out of bounds by Chris Green. Wow, what a curse. 
I'm sorry, Gary. <laughs> it's Dick, I think it's up to about the 33-yard line, so a pickup of 12 yards. We can't hear each other think up here. I'll tell you, now what happens, Gary, with that shuffle, you let the line filler through, and it's only a natural move to go to the ball. And if your linebackers are to the man under. The gain to the 42. First and 10 for the Vikings. It goes to Young. Young cuts up a nice hole and cuts back. Brian Young still on his feet. Brian Young takes the ball all the way down to the Indian 25-yard line, a gain of 18 yards and another first down. Well, we're almost into a pattern here now, Gary. You see the Lehighton score, and then Central comes right back. Now we have the Lehighton score, and in two plays, Central has covered a very, very large portion of the field. Dick, this is a beautiful hole opened up. Good block in there by Chris Kirkus. All the way down. The Titans all ready to celebrate, and you get the big turnover. That's the second fumble of the night against Lee Heighton. A 10-yard gain on the pass play with a fumble. It's first and 10 on the 45-yard line of Central Catholic. The handoff goes to the first man through and breaking all the way into Lee Heighton territory as Mike Sterling makes the tackle. Brian Young gets the ball all the way down to the... Lee Heighton, 39-yard line, a gain of 16 yards. The appearance of Delgado, number 22 in the offensive backfield, Gary, has to cause concern for the Indians because it's more speed. And what that does is it frees it up. In you know, you look down at the, where the knee pad should be and it's not its bare skin. See, that, that's that, that blue-collar ethic, Gary, the inside running game. The ball in about the 27-and-a-half-yard line. We're going to call it second and eight. I'm still a little bit stunned by the penalty game. Not the call, but the penalty itself. Back to throw, Cramsey. He's looking over the middle. He's got a man wide open. It's Young who has the football. Brian Young all the way down to about the five or six yard line. They're going to put it down at the five. That's a pickup of 22 yards. Tackled by Lamont Hibbler. What they did that time, guy, they went across a cross pattern. You'll see Fatsinger running across with Galgan. And again, that second man, that under man. Boy, did they catch something on the tapes. That is wide open. Gary Delgado came in for Williams. Seemed like almost as if they're setting this thing up just for him. Six from the four. Touchdown, Brian Young. Central does it again. They come back. <laughs> this is something. The drive, 62 yards and six plays. The final four yards by Brian Young. Another look. It's a little bit of power football. There's the off tackle with the, with the man on the right side of the wing. Gets a good lead block, and he goes. Boy, talk about being able to come back from adversity as Lee Heighton on two consecutive plays had closed to within three. And now Central, with the extra point that's good, gets that lead back up to 10 points as they lead it. 36-20. Third and four, as Dick said, we're in four down territory on the 34-yard line. Central doesn't want to pass. Young has the first down inside the 30 to the 29, a gain of five. And all of a sudden, Central Catholic in its first District 11 football competition venture, Gary, is going to come up big. First down, number 14, Central, 124 yards on the ground, 227 in the air. They led at halftime, 21 to 12. It's now 36 to 26. Eckert, over the middle, headed for Green, it's intercepted. With the football is Josh Williams. And he'll just run it out of bounds as it's all over. Central Catholic is your District 11 Class 3A champion. They have gone where no Viking team has ever gone before. On their first venture, two important things, Gary. Number one, why has it been so enjoyable? Because the offense on both sides was shining. You know, it was, it was a type of game in which what you want to see, you're going to see. The main players look spectacular because they're making the point. Number two, 
What a hats off job with Jimmy Morgan's and company. They dusted off the playbook, they come back with a play and saw that one of their super subs, number 22, got playing time and he come in like a star to shine bright on a little shuffle pass and that was the difference. Oh, our congratulations go to Jim Morgan's, his staff, Tom Filippovich, Sam Seneca, Mike Falcone, Frank Williams, Steve Lasicki, Ed Gallagher, Bill Yondel, Lou Stalsitz, the freshman coaches, Ellie Garrisey and Jeff Kristoff. Just a super, super season for Jim Morgan's and his ball club. They finish nine and three. Of course, they can't go any further as they have not qualified for state playoffs. But, Dick, I'll tell you what, I think they would play just about anybody in the state. Very, very tough. Well, you, you talk about a team that, you know, that does just enough, Gary, you know, and, and they seem confident knowing that even though they've given up points, they're going to stop the big play. And even though they need points to score and come back, they're going to be able to do that. Tonight, it, it, it began as if they're almost saying, well, you take your turn, and then our turn's coming next anyhow. I, I just thought that, the, I'll tell you, that basic shuffle pass, I thought was a difference. And, and to point out a few heroes tonight, Dave Galgan, a senior. What a career at Central. Their quarterback coming into last season, he gets hurt. Cramsey steps in. David can't get the spot back, and in fact, they discover and feel that he's a much better wide receiver for their ball club. He goes to that position, and tonight, no doubt about it, Dickie played probably the defensive game of his career. You bet he did, and again, it was a smart defensive game. Gary, the thing is, with all the offensive scoring, you're not going to notice the great defense that was played. Josh Williams, Bill Cramsey, Brian Young, those are the seniors in the backfield. And as we look at a number of the other seniors, Neil Cummings on the ball club, Don Dodona, and uh, we're going to miss a few because we're going to have to get out of here. Jason Dankel. These are the guys that are playing their last game. Chris Kirkus. Damian Walsh. Joe Do Murphy. Damian Walsh. Fumble He's recovery. in there. We apologize if we missed anybody. A lot of good youngsters coming back for Central Catholic. 36-26, our final score. Congratulations to the Vikings. They played a super game. So did Lee Heighton. It was a great one. We hope you've enjoyed it here on Cable 4 Sports. Thanks to Dick Tracy, our crew. Rick Gio's been our director.